Hey, this is Richard, and welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. Well, my brother contacted me, and he's going to get into reloading his own ammo for his uh, 308 and his 223. So he asked me to make a version on the lathe of the Hornady Lock and Load Overall Length Gauge. And you're probably asking yourself, well, what the heck is that? And I thought the same thing when he told me. So I looked it up on the internet, and we'll take a quick look at that. So let's put Hornady overall length into a Google search and see what we get. Let's go to images. Well, now we see what the device looks like. And it doesn't look all that complicated. Let's get a closer view and take a look at this one. Well, it appears to be a tube with a thumb screw that secures another rod that goes through it and sounds like just a project for the lathe here. Well, let's see what else goes with this thing. Gun casing. Looks like it's drilled and threaded. That seems to be no problem. Looks like the end of the rod is also threaded, which accepts the casing. That's not an issue. Looky here, this one seems to give the cap size 516 by 36 TPI. I don't think I have a 36, but I know I have a 24, and I don't think the tap size really matters. Well, after doing a little bit more research, this thing also has something called a comparator which is this little uh, cylinder object right here, and it just has a, a cap with a hole in it, and that's easily done on the lathe. Check. Well, apparently this comparator comes in a complete set, and he only has uh, two guns that he's interested in doing, so he doesn't need all these different calibers. He only needs two. So to get an idea of what these things are going to cost my brother, Here's a random website, so we're going to add one of these uh, overall length gauges to the cart, $31.99. Here's a modified case for a 308 Winchester, $6.19. So let's add one of them to the cart, and my brother wanted two. So we're up to $51.96, and let's go ahead and add the uh, Bullet Comparator Basic Set with six inserts. So that's thirty dollars and forty nine cents and he also wants the two two three. Type in two two three modified case. Well, here's the two two three modified case. Let's add one of these to the cart. We're gonna view the cart. He wanted two of the two two three so let's update so my brother's total was going to be $94.83. I think we could do better than that. Well, since I was starting off with solid rod, it did have to be bored out. You can see that hole down through the center. So I had to go ahead and bore out this section. And it needs to be about 13 inches long, so I had to do a separate section. And I bored this guy out. And to connect them, I turned down a, a little closed nipple on the lathe. And this threads right into this one. So it's a perfect fit, and you can hardly tell it's even two pieces now. And the device also came with some uh, accessories called a comparator. So I took some one inch round stock that I had cast earlier. went ahead and threaded the inside and turned down a cap for it and this has a hole in the top to fit the 223 ammo and I made a separate one for his 308 ammo so the 223 and the 308 and how this guy works is you insert a rod through it the reloading guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. 
and I also had to go ahead and make this which threads into here so when you're moving the rod back and forth you could turn this thumb screw and go ahead and lock it down and it's not going anywhere and the whole concept of this device you have to take some bullet casings like one of these and you have to drill it out and thread it to fit on the end of this guy so I've already done one this is just a uh, test casing and this threads on there like that and you insert this into the uh, chamber of the gun and you advance the bullet into where it seats on the, the grooves in the lands. And then once you have uh, placed the bullet where it needs to be, you lock down the rod. You could then measure using a caliper at the overall length of how far you need to seat the bullet down into the casing when you're reloading. It's a little bit complicated, but I went ahead and made it for them turned out pretty nice so let's move over to the lathe and we'll go ahead and drill and tap out uh, four of the casings that my brother sent me Well, the casings still have uh, the expended uh, primer in it, so we're going to go ahead and center drill them. So we'll try it out on the device here. Threads right on. And a nice tight fit, that's what we want. It'll work. Okay, so we got all four casings uh, drilled and threaded, and they all fit on pretty nice. Uh, 
nice and tight. I think we'll be happy with that. Time to pack it up, get it in the mail.